Hello YouTube land, this is Dana of, of Tabitha's Treasures. Oops, I'm a little bit wobbly there. And I am wearing something today. I finally got to do the Big Button Cow by Laurel Christmas of the Dabbling Hook. And this is what it is. It is made using, well she used a super bulky yarn I used a chunky yarn this is I love this chunky from Hobby Lobby and I'm very unorganized today y'all in fact I just woke up <laughs> barely having my coffee uh let's see let me get the label out I love this chunky it is color name ocean I used almost a whole skein one whole skein made this beautiful cowl and this button I got the other day at Walmart on my trip that I took y'all with me and I was going to use it on my mother's um, granny hat but it was too big so perfect for this I used a 10 millimeter hook an N which is uh, what the pattern calls for I got these beautiful hooks in the mail the other day and this is like literally all I have left of the yarn that's it that's it but I have another ball, so I think I am really considering making my mom one of these for Christmas. I think she would really like it. I am ashamed to admit, though, I struggled so hard with this pattern. Like, seriously struggled. Like, um, what is a third loop on a double crochet? Like, I didn't know. I looked at, at tutorials and all of them were fat for the um, bleh, half double crochet. None of them were for double crochet, which is what the pattern calls for. So I just improvised and used my best judgment and that's it. And uh, yeah, but the rest of it is really very easy, very simple to do. I think it came out really great. It's really nice and cozy. It's soft. It's not itchy or scratchy or feels uncomfortable. It's just, it's really very perfect for this. I can't wait to use it during the winter. I think it looks really nice. So, that's the Big Button Cowl. And I pretty much stayed up all night last night doing this. And, uh, just to, so that I would have something to show y'all. <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh. I'm going to fall down on you. Okay. So, yeah, I have one more ball of that left. So, I can make another one. I'll go and get me another one of these buttons and put it on there. And yesterday I started another project that was giving me fits as well because I don't know <laughs> uh, that's not it this is it. yes this is it I started doing a circular vest from the lavender chair and this is what I've gotten so far this is just the center and Oh my goodness, y'all. Like, really? A double treble drop down stitch. What? <laughs> what is that? But yeah, so, um, I can't even tell you how many times I have ripped this out and restarted it and ripped it out and restarted it. It's just wow. Some things are really challenging when 
when doing certain projects and this I think this is going to be one of them I'm learning so many new things and branching out more is really wow like you know I was doing pretty simple things for the charity but now that I want to make some Christmas gifts and birthday gifts as well um you know you can't just do simple <laughs> you want something that's gonna look nice and and be loved and worn and well yeah so that's what I wanted to do I wanted to make something that would be loved and worn and really something pretty so <coughs> but I made this cow initially for myself I, that's my first thought was myself I have some sweaters that I think this would look really, really nice with. Yeah. Rail, two thumbs up, girl. Yeah, I really love it. And I will be making another one. I want to make one for my mom so bad. In the same color with the same button. Because I think she would really like it. So, excellent. If you haven't gone and bought that pattern yet, what are you waiting for? It's not that expensive, and, I mean, once you get the hang of it, piece of cake. So, that is everything for today, you guys. I'm just going to cut this short and sweet. I am fixing to um, sit here and drink my coffee for a bit, and then I've got to run to the post office and drop off my swap box for my partner in Vegas. And I hope she likes it because I really didn't do anything like I've been seeing um, other people's swap boxes just taking a look because this would, this is my first time ever doing a swap box so I didn't know what I was doing and I wanted to try and put everything in it that she wanted like she was requesting certain things and I was like yeah okay. Get, you know, not just requesting certain things, but giving me ideas of certain things that she wanted or she needed. And my husband <laughs> found out that I was doing a swap, and he gave me this box. And, I mean, it it's not a... It fit four or five skeins of yarn. So it's not small, but it's not you know, huge either, and I tried to just shove as much as I could in there. Okay. So, I didn't put no card, no tissue paper, no, no nothing, just everything that I wanted to send her, and I feel like a complete moron because I didn't put a card or a letter or a note or nothing in there so <laughs> I don't know I don't know maybe the next time around it'll you know I'll be more uh, prepared for it because um, I was supposed to actually send this out last month and I contacted her and said you know there are some things that I really wanted to get and I can't get them until next month so Anyway, long story short, I gotta go mail this package off today. So, you all have a happy Vlogtober number four. And I will see y'all again tomorrow, which will probably be just as boring as today. So, y'all have a good day. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.